On today's episode of 27-Year-Old Boomer, it talks about mostly irrelevant internet phenomena from 10 plus years ago. I'm going to be talking about an old and widely beloved meme slash song that has recently been given a new lease on life thanks to the kiddos on TikTok. The song is unironically one of the most legendary freestyles to ever hit the internet. The interior crocodile alligator freestyle by Chip the Ripper. Interior crocodile alligator, I drive a Chevrolet move. Theater. This song, originally called the SLAB Freestyle, first got popular online in the late 2000s. And why did it get popular? Well, I'd say because of its hilariously braggadocious and often absurdist lyrical content. Interior crocodile alligator, I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Yeah, describing a pimped out car with reptilian upholstery and DVD players installed as a Chevrolet movie theater. I don't care if you're Tupac or Kendrick Lamar, that's some galaxy brain lyricism right there. That line in particular, the interior crocodile alligator, I drive a Chevrolet movie theater line, kind of became a meme before this song was actually popular. And today I'm gonna tell you all how this meme started off in the first place, because the story behind it's a lot deeper than you might expect. So let's get into it. Shout out to Raycon for sponsoring. The link below gets you 15% off any of their premium wireless earbuds. Stick around to the end to learn more. To begin, let's start by discussing the man behind the song. Before there was a Chevrolet movie theater, and before there was an interior made of crocodile and alligator, and even before there was a Chip the Ripper, there was a young man named Charles Worth. Born in 1986, Charles grew up in the city of Cleveland, Ohio with his mother and father. Living in Cleveland's relatively dangerous and impoverished east side, Charles decided early on that he wasn't going to delve into the debauchery of his surroundings. Rather, he would make something of himself and get out of the hood. For him, the goal was to attain a career in music. Specifically, he wanted to become a rapper. So starting off in high school, he began battle rapping other students to hone his skills. And battle rapping is how Charles would get the Chip the Ripper rap name. See, Chip is often used as a diminutive version of the name Charles, and he went by the name Chip at school, so people saw how he would rip his opponents in battles to shreds and sort of combine the Chip and the ripping together, and that's how you get Chip the Ripper. The name stuck and the moniker was born. After high school in 2007, Chip would become good friends with another at the time aspiring Cleveland artist, Kid Cudi. Seeing how Cudi was garnering a buzz by self-publishing his music to the internet, he decided to emulate what his friend did and began uploading some of his own tracks online to sites like MySpace and other various hip-hop blogs. On MySpace, Chip would be discovered by Cleveland-based DJ Pretty Boy Floyd. Around this time, Floyd hosted a web-based radio show called Street Stars Radio wherein he would invite artists to his studio and publish exclusive interviews, recordings, and freestyles via his Street Stars mixtape series. And this is where we get to the actual recording of the interior crocodile alligator freestyle. Sometime in early 2007, Chip was contacted by Pretty Boy Floyd and was invited to his studio. The two would conduct an interview to discuss Chip's up-and-coming mixtape titled Money and his new self-made label, SLAB. The interview itself was mostly unremarkable, but what followed it certainly wasn't. Floyd offered Chip the opportunity to spit a freestyle. Chip agreed, the beat would cut on, and little did Chip know he was about to inadvertently create one of the biggest music memes in internet history. Yeah. After the session, the freestyle was uploaded to Pretty Boy Floyd's MySpace page, but at the time few people actually listened to it because for whatever reason Floyd didn't include it in his Street Stars mixtape series. For the time being, it would collect dust. Now there are many standout bars from the interior crocodile alligator freestyle, but obviously the one that has stuck out the most over the years is the one the meme is named after, the interior crocodile alligator I drive a Chevrolet movie theater line. There's something about the line that's just hilariously badass. It's equal parts ridiculous and clever, and it becomes even more ridiculous when the line is taken out of context from the song. And this is the core of what made this portion of the song so highly susceptible to meme shenanigans, which brings us to the very moment that this song and the snippet would become a meme. It all started in September of 2007 on the somethingawful.com forums. A user named Hoodrow Trilson found Chip's song on MySpace. 
ripped it and created a perfect loop of the interior crocodile alligator I drive a Chevrolet movie theater line accompanied with a still image of a crocodile. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie ah! theater. Interior crocodile. Enough. Presenting it with absolutely no context on the forum, the line made little sense, and it being played over and over again was pretty amusing. Other forum users were perplexed and amused by these seemingly absurd lyrics. Nobody knew what the hell it was or who was rapping, but people seemed to agree on one thing. It was unexplainably funny. From here, the joke would spread over to YTMND, where the perfect loop would be presented alongside footage of gallivanting crocodiles and alligators. Keep in mind that at this point, nobody other than Hoodrow Trilson knew where this song snippet actually came from. To everyone else, it was just nonsensical word salad. Naturally, this lent it to becoming a great bait and switch meme, akin to Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. If you were asking a serious question on an internet forum in the year 2007, there was a pretty high likelihood that you were going to be met with a troll in the replies answering your question by sending you some veiled link to an interior crocodile alligator perfect loop. Hello, does anybody know where I can watch Pixar's Ratatouille for free online? Yes, I have link here. Click and watch full movie for free. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a several. For over a year, the internet would remain puzzled by the interior crocodile alligator loop. But in the summer of 2008, the greater internet would finally unlock the codex required to decipher the lyrics. As in June of 2008, a full version of Chip the Ripper's freestyle was uploaded to YouTube by someone who had finally discovered where Hood Row Wilson nabbed the song originally. This full version, of course, included the lyrics wrapped beforehand, which give better context to what the hell Chip is actually talking about. He raps a series of car-themed bars before the famous interior crocodile line. With Chip's full freestyle now available on YouTube, the song would evolve from just a weird meme to a full-fledged viral rap hit that people unironically listened to and enjoyed. It would begin to accrue millions of views on YouTube, and with it finally being attributed to Chip the Ripper, he found himself gaining thousands of new fans daily. Ironically, a seemingly throwaway freestyle would jumpstart Chip the Ripper's rap career. Chip would go on to have a prolific and profitable career as a semi-underground artist. He never would truly break into the mainstream, but he's made a solid living for himself in the underground hip-hop scene ever since the spread of this song. He changed his rap name in the early 2010s to King Chip. Apparently this was because he felt the old name was too edgy or something. But needless to say, dude's a legend. But let's refocus on the interior crocodile alligator freestyle itself because this thing wasn't finished being a meme after the 2007 spread of the perfect loop. In the mid 2010s, Chip's freestyle found itself becoming a favorite amongst the music remixers of the SoundCloud community, and of course those involved with the Siva Gunner YouTube channel. Many meme remixes and high quality rips have been created using the interior crocodile alligator freestyle all of which have been made honorably and celebrate the greatness that is this song. Now baby, I'm the Ripper. Your baby daddy's worst nightmare. Catch me by the clear, I'll be right there. And I'll be slammed up in tanger and shots when you grind. If there's one thing you can say about the interior crocodile alligator freestyle is that it's extremely resilient, as the meme has been somewhat relevant now for over a decade. And with that said, according to Google Trends data, the song is now more popular than it's ever been thanks to the massive user base of TikTok recently becoming enamored with it. Unsurprisingly, the way that it's used on TikTok differs from how the meme worked originally. It's pretty much just people dancing over the song with a bit of self-deprecative humor thrown into the mix. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie. Enough. And well, my friends, that's pretty much the timeline of the interior crocodile alligator freestyle as a meme. This one really does occupy a strange place because it's both a 
unironically dope song, but also an absurd internet music meme at the same time. I'm glad a new generation of internet users are having fun with it, and hopefully it remains relevant for years to come. And with that said, I think I'm about to go listen to the freestyle with my new Raycon wireless earbuds. <laughs> So if you've been wanting to get a pair of premium wireless earbuds but have been put off by the ridiculous price tags that you oftentimes see on the market, Raycon earbuds are the perfect option for you. Raycons are low profile, sleek, they fit in your ear comfortably, they don't fall out. See, they're still in. And most importantly, they sound amazing, just as good as every other premium earbud on the market. Each pair of Raycons comes with a portable charging case that can recharge your earbuds on the go. You can recharge up to four times off one case charge with the newest model, the Everyday E25s. So maybe you're listening to Interior Crocodile Alligator on a run or just screwing around on Discord, you really ought to consider picking up a pair of Raycons because these affordable wireless earbuds are